What up, what up? What's up, what's yeah, up? Yeah, man, Another we're episode. back. We're back. Two disabled guys in a mic. Yes, sir. Episode number five. Number five, and I can't believe it, man. We're in a new, new spot, location. right? Yeah. Shout out to um, Daddy, Daddy Media, Media Studio, Studio for hooking for the us place. up. Yes. Yeah, man, this place is beautiful. Amazing for it sure. It is, it is. Thank you very much for the help. And yeah. hopefully it's the home for our future episodes Not to come. Hopefully. You gotta stop saying hopefully. Always, you know, sure. you know, it's 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 our home. It's our home. Mm-hmm. So for sure. This yeah. thing's beautiful. I love it. Um so with that being said, big shout out to Daddy Media Studio. If yes. you wanna know more about the studio, hit us up on our email. Uh to disable guys at gmail.com. To disable guys, guys at and a mic, mic at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. That's right, that's right. That's right. And uh we'll give you information about yes, yes. the the studio for sure. Definitely. So, yeah, with that being said, man, it was great seeing you last weekend. I know. We had uh, a lot of fun, yeah. A lot of fun, man. What did, you, what did you get into? So, Saturday, I went to practice a little bit. I have um, a couple of certifications that I need to take now this weekend coming up. Right. And, and that's for your shooting? Yes, yes. So, I'm going to be become a, a, a certified uh, pistol instructor. And then in May, I'm getting my rifle instructor. And then I want to do shotgun as well and i want to start teaching for the conceal right. the ccw and all of those things you know i want to yeah. teach people with disabilities how to right which is still the main protect, thing right you can still protect yourself yeah for safety sure. always for you and your oh, family yeah if you're a person that responsible wants to be, yes yes and that's awesome that you're a disabled person becoming certified yes sir she had to do it the right way yes because there's not a lot of people out there doing it so it's really awesome that you're doing mm-hmm. that and you're gonna really understand other disabled people disabilities of how to handle these weapons and things like that which Definitely. is more important and so going back so i did that on saturday then sunday we just we met in the morning yeah, we, we, were, met. we met at hollywood beach one of the things that i did last week was fiu i went to fiu south campus so how did that go and that was amazing uh, i spoke to the rehab directors there uh some were present some were online a lot of the students that are becoming physical therapists or mm-hmm. anything to do with that rehab okay, uh, area, really. you know, they were there. Um, they loved the presentation, you know, spoke about who I am, how I got injured, uh, we where skilled. we work, the service, you know, things like that. And mm-hmm. then, you know, it's a lot of great things that, that, that were. I me. always enjoy those things. Like when you always. and I go to those things, I always enjoy because it it's funny how you see the students, how, you know, they're going to become therapists. And we always tell them, you know, you guys, engaged. you guys are the first face that we see before we go to the real world. So it's very important, your relationship with your patients. For sure. So I'm very happy about that, man. I I usually do mine coming up. I think I usually do uh, Nova and I do, I think I do FAU as well. And we've done Kaiser in the past. Mm -hmm. So it's very good presentation that we do for the kids. Not only do we learn from them of how they're learning how to become physical therapists and different things, but they learn from us firsthand. You know, they from get a comfortable. person with experience. Yes, so. yes. Because it's not the same thing. When you go see a patient, right? You go as a doctor, as a student. It's kind of like nerve-wracking. But when you're just chilling, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just hanging out with the guy. Because believe it or not, we teach them a lot. I believe we do. I, believe I always do. tell them, you know, the books can only take you some, so, so far. far until you put experience. You know, you yeah. have to work Your with the... Experience. Yeah. So what so. we go through. And then mm-hmm. I go in the future. You got some events you're going to. I got some yes, trips sir. I'm going to. Yeah. So We're going to we'll be, be... showing a lot of that on our podcast. Any information that you guys are looking, any activities that you guys are interested in... in participating in we're gonna put some information on our site right on our site we'll pass out our email activities and so everything that is going on in Broward County we're gonna try to do it monthly so we can for provide sure. the information out there yeah for sure so Sunday so we went to the beach right yeah we met up at super Hollywood accessible. Beach Hollywood Beach Florida super accessible beautiful beach tell me about your experience uh, so we decided to meet at Hollywood mm-hmm. Beach to you know just have a fun time a fun day it was beautiful weather Sure. Sunny, but it was windy and cool, nice. so it was very enjoyable. A lot of people. Uh, I decided to park in in the public parking garage. Um, garage is accessible. You know the doors to enter the the um, elevator accessible, and the elevator is working perfectly fine. So I highly recommend it. You know, highly, and I parked at the Margaritaville. Uh, public parking garage so very accessible garage which is usually where i park when i go it's kind of like the medium right. it's in the medium of right. and everything you pick up your ticket in your car yeah. on your way in you pay before you get in your car on your way out so it's very well, convenient very accessible uh, I, so, and indoor so your yeah, car's indoor if it's raining or whatever yeah. the case might be you're indoor so i completely forgot about that 
and on my way there, I parked in the first parking garage. Dude. North. North yes. of the center like, of Hollywood. Back to your point, super accessible. The spots, you got a lot, enough space for you to get and out. And on the street. Yes. So, but I didn't know, man. I was like a mile and a half to two miles away from me when you guys were. Like, dude, I swear to God. Like, I rem I'm pushing. Babe, it's okay. You, you don't have to it. push me. And I'm like, oh my God, just push. Right. You know? And it's due to the pain that you get on your shoulders. Of course, my you elbows, get, my shoulders for the, things, you know, I've been right. getting the injections and all of those things. And we got to say, because people got to understand that all oh, yeah. of us have different issues yeah. that we deal with. So some people might say, oh, a mile. I'll push that in a in a heartbeat. But not understanding what everybody goes through, different things. Different they don't understand, like, just by doing this motion right here every yeah. day, just your shoulders wearing, right here. They kind of, everything goes are, off. And things like that. So be good, kids. Be good. Listen to your mommy and daddy. Right. So yeah. So then it was that was that was the first. But other than that, man, like I said, had super accessible. Time. Had a great time. Open. I did, we didn't have to bother anybody. Move from here. Can right, you please right. can I have some space? Flows with it. So I, I did run into one one thing. So how about going into the place that we went into? So we decided to eat brunch after mm -hmm. we met up. Uh, after the pushing and all of that, I'm sure yes, you were sir. thirsty, Oh, hungry. my God, yes. So with our my fiancé, your wife, we decided, you know what, let's start off by getting some food and then dealing with the rest of the day, mm -hmm. right? So we decided to eat at a restaurant where the ramp was definitely not accessible. Very steep, and I know you said something about every inch. Yes, so for all you business owners out there that would like to service individuals with a disability, especially with those of us who are in equipment like this so for every inch of a step is one foot out one foot out so if you have a step like this for imagine of the slope you gotta go now i know that you're running a business and thank you you are providing a service but i believe if you're gonna provide it make sure that you yeah, follow the rule because right, right. i understand what they did it because otherwise you would take into yeah. you know right. into at the least street. there was an axe of course some kind of axe but for somebody like me, it wasn't an issue. But someone like in, in your situation chair, with yeah. a shorter chair, you have even and with I the had equipment. A scooter. I have a scooter that I attached to my wheelchair, which mm -hmm. is, I want to say, a good 20 pounds. So he holds weight in the front. But even with all the speed that that scooter gets going in and mm -hmm. going up, it was so steep that I would yeah. most likely flip back. So my fiance was there to give me that boost, safety boost, what I call it. But now imagine. If you and me decide, you you know, let's meet up, let's go to the beach by ourselves. It would be a show. Now? I gotta we, stand no, behind you. We wouldn't go in. As smart yeah, people, we'd probably be say, like, Man, yeah. we love this place, we love the food. We lost business. Yeah, now we're gonna go somewhere else because now it's the accessibility safety issue and Correct. things like that. No, and that's one of the things for people like us who have a disability. Not everybody, but it's ha it has happened to me before where you get to a place you're super excited, then you get there and, it's and like, then you find yeah. something to be like Damn. Yeah, like boy, why? now I don't. And then your day just—if it happens one of—if right. it happens to be one of those days that where your head is not right yeah, that day or it's whatever, gonna add on to that. Your plate. day goes from there, man. But I, I like that we went out there and I encourage a lot of people go out, definitely check out all those places. And if they're not accessible, show people how they can make it better. Education, because only by us wheelchair users or people with disabilities getting out and doing these things. That's the only people, the only way people get educated. I agree of with course, you. people watching our podcast show will know. Okay, these guys mentioned this and that, and maybe that brings some awareness and things you, can change. But you know, I always when when I go around and you know, wife and I, we just anywhere. You you always get people looking at you, right? Right. And I always just ask, man, like if you see me struggling to go up the the stairs or steps or whatnot, just ask. Don't just stand there, just afraid. like. Waiting to see what's going to happen. And I think people and, do a know? lot of that just because there's no awareness. And seeing Agreed. shows like ours, they understand where you say someone could give us a hand. However, I, in a way, like you said, if someone asked me, I really appreciate it. And mm -hmm. I like that people will go out of their way to give you a hand. I just feel weird when people, you know, have to push you. Because you your independence. And, away, and not only that, because, you know, like my backrest is very low and people usually grab me instead of my chair. So when they grab me thinking know, I've they're going to push the chair and they're going to push me out of the chair. So I kind of hesitate from trying to get help because I feel like someone's going to offer help. 
now I got to kind of teach you. Now I feel not uncomfortable, but now I got to go out of my way to teach you something that you might be like, wow, I'm just trying to help yeah. this guy. And he's I'm here like, trying man, to school me. Why, why are you, why you like teaching me math and right. geography and, and everything geography, about how yeah. I'm going to transfer from here to there? Right. So, so the entrance to this place was a little, you know, little thing. the food was amazing. Ooh, yes. The food was amazing. The service was good. Um, We had a great time conversating there about the podcast you know we were shooting ideas between mm -hmm. all four of us um great time great time for sure and then so we decided after eating since we stuffed our bellies and we had to walk some of that off roll some of that off uh we decided to take a roll down the the boardwalk and check it out right pack good time talking about the boardwalk so i have a question for you so now you and i are both in wheelchairs so are we considered demigods, like half men, half wheels? And and back to what you just said, demigod, <laughs> right? So a demigod is half human, half yeah. whatever it is, right? If you, I think we're half men, half amazing, if yeah. you ask me. You know, that's what I would say, but I've been called half men, half bicycle, so we'll go on the that's bicycle fine. lane. That's and fine. we got the... We got ring, a ring that, yeah. yeah we were like, I mean, they were like, get out of the way. Next time I'm going to go to work, I'm going to see Alex on the freeway on the bike chicken line. Just, yeah, you know? just going by, yeah. man. So, yeah, we got we got the, the get out of the way on the on the bike lane. So, I don't know how I felt about that one, but it's cool. Yeah. I think we're going too slow. If not, probably, we qualify for the bike lane. Probably. So, now, uh, as we go on by, I remember we saw one of the security guards and we asked, hey, what is, where is the next, you know, accessible Matt. area for people in wheelchairs? Right. So he tells, you know, a about little a down, mile down, about a whatever. mile down. So Which was really right there, but whatever. Yeah. So That's we cool. go down there, right? So as we get there, we decide to go on the mat. Now, I don't know about you, but I want you to tell me what you think first and then I'll go. So the, the blue accessible mm -hmm. mats right this is my opinion about them i've tried them before even before this one time we went and i think i'm glad they're there mm -hmm. honestly Awareness, i'm glad yes. they're there Something's i'm not being complaining done, about it however i think whoever decided to put these mats and whoever is in charge of these type of things maybe didn't try to sit on a wheelchair and give it a shot because they're really hard to push on i mean you you and i have full arm strength you name it we're probably getting some shoulder pain or whatever mm -hmm. and we'll manage to get to the end of the map but now we got to remember there's injuries out there who are in wheelchairs but don't have the arm strength or grip mm -hmm. that you and i have yep. so what if that person's rolling down the boardwalk and decides you know what let me go watch some people getting the beach from the end of the map they're not gonna push it. i you know, Alex, that's one of the things that I always think about. Like, who who decides to make these things go into effect, right? right? So I always say to myself, okay, whoever come up with that law, are they disabled? Are you in a wheelchair? Or do you even work for a disability de department? Or, or better yet, somebody in charge who is on top that can understand what individuals right. like us or go better through. yet know the reason why they only go up to there like correct. is there a reason correct put like know? a little mat goes only right. up to and, here and you know we did some research we did some research about that the matter mm -hmm. the reason why they go there we found that in different places of the world a lot of these mats go further mm -hmm. uh we've recently spoke to a few people on social media who are you know knowledgeable and thank you guys for reaching out to yes, us because thank you thank by you reaching very much. out we get information from you that we need sometimes and sometimes that we don't we don't yeah, know we, we can share it back with it. our our audience right and a lot of our audience are advocates which yes. i love so a lot of people relate to what we're talking about a lot of people have already roll through that path and listeners you are your best advocate that's fine that you hear information from people but you are your best advocate if you don't Always. do it yourself nobody's gonna do it for you yeah and be persistent about of stuff course because keep going never give up keep going yeah for sure so you know this man um some of the research we did they reach up to the area that we roll to because of of turtles hatching and, of nature, and, yeah. and nesting and things like that from what we understand mm -hmm. that was what 
So it led me to believe a lot of different things because, you know, different parts of the world and even here in the U.S. because the beautiful island of Puerto Rico is considered U.S., mm-hmm. right? They, they have, have a pro brand, right? We were doing all this research and a friend of mine had posted something mm-hmm. before on social media. But they have an amazing program called Palawa. If you translate it, it's towards the water, yeah. or, you know, in that field. And their blue mats, and we're going to post a lot of footage and pictures and things like that. Their blue mats go from the parking lot into the water in some places. How wide? Two people could go on. At the same time, At the same right time, next to another. very wide. I'm, obviously, we've never been on those beaches to oh, see if those go. tarps are easy to roll on. But, I mean, if someone helps you and things like that, there you go all the way to the water. Palawa, hit us up, man. Yeah, hit us man. up when you we know, go over we, there and test it out for you. See, like, oh, look, two types of disabilities testing. We you found you guys on social right? media, and I think what you guys are doing is phenomenal. Definitely. We also have another friend here in Miami, Florida, Miami Beach, who has an accessible beach, but... Um, that beach is mainly accessible through volunteers oh, okay. from what I understand you know they have mats where you mm-hmm. get a lot of access but a lot of volunteers help you get into your chair get into the amazing, man. you know the People beach chairs and carry you in the water to take some you know have, give you the opportunity to feel human again I, without embarrassment because correct. even though I'm the type of person that I don't care if I fall in front of a hundred people Oops, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, f- I fell at a concert with my fiance in front of everybody, got right up, laughed it off, and I'm like, hey, yeah, what that's are you like if I would have tripped if I'm walking. I usually you know? fall when I'm by myself. Nobody's around me. No? Yeah, nobody's usually around me when I fall. That's actually kind of good. Well, so, I fall when people are around me and not. And, you know, when people are around you, are back on your chair quick. When they're not around, I, man, you become a whole. Right? A so, whole. MacGyver just to situation. figure out how you're going to get up on this so, show, but it's fun. Going back to the mat. So, as you and I are pushing down the mat, so the first thing that I noticed from far away, you can you think that the mat is fl- it's like a hard it's surface, flat which is nice, not. Smooth it's not on. flat or smooth at all. So then they put the mat on the sand and then you, the mat... It, it gets the shape of the sand. Of course. So if you don't level that sand that constantly, Definitely. you're going to have a very Correct. lumpy mat. So, and I see you you were showing off with your little the tricycle scooter, thing, yeah. and that and thing I'm, did not we're work. Gonna, we're gonna do some footage on this scooter. That thing did uh, not work. It was the Kept. wheel because it's plastic, and the mat is plastic. In the elevator areas of the mat, the wheel didn't get gripped because it had to pull so hard. So I had to give that extra push to the scooter to help it maneuver through. Yeah. So even with something powerful. It shows you how it's so mm-hmm. hard to get through this mat. By the way, Hollywood Beach, Hollywood City, if you need any assistance on yeah, helping checking you guys out with uh, the accessibility. accessibility issues or things like that, let us know. Come on our show, too. Yeah, we can discuss but you know how beautiful it would be for Hollywood Beach to be a world-known spot oh, where man. disabled people from all yes. over the world can come and visit and feel like, man, no matter where I go, there is accessible. Because the, pro- the problem is that most people think that we have no money to spend that just because we are disabled we don't work just because we're considered because we a minority disabled, correct you know so. just because we are disabled we don't get married just because we are disabled we don't have a career you know what i mean and go on and keep going and going and, and going. then they find us on the podcast yes. and on social media making things happen showing everyone that you can put you, you can do whatever you put your mind to right yes so. positive thoughts you are your thoughts if you think negative you're gonna react negative if you think positive you're gonna act positive so keep that in mind don't concentrate yeah. on the word this concentrate on the word ability 100%, go, 100%. take your further and so yeah, with all that being said the mat so bad experience pushing it bad experience with the scooter and i know it was hard I, for you to push I it i tell as you well. what yes bad experience pushing Bad experience with the with the with the wheelchair, but that was not the worst thing That's for me. Not the worst. The worst thing for me is that you only take me halfway. So it's like I'm not gonna feed you for a week, and then I'm gonna put your favorite meal in front of you, just right there, so you, can, so have, you can you look, can barely you just barely, just barely smell it. That's you know. So the experience you and I had is we made it to the end. That's it. Automatically, there was a group of. Teenagers playing volleyball yes, or something look there, at siblings, and man. they froze up, trying to figure out what we were doing there because they knew once we got to the end of the mat, we What's had another happen, half a mile to the water. 
So yeah. we're like, okay, you know, it's rem- beautiful to see everybody tanning, but uh. But, so that's the other thing. So what are the things you're gonna do? You're just gonna go at the end of the mat. You're gonna stay right there. I'm gonna be here. Wife in front of me, fiance in front, of me, and we're I just gonna know stay right there. Through our research, we did find out that certain cities you call certain number and the fire department mm-hmm. will meet you with a water device. We will check oh, these nice. like that, right? But this is my following question. So now they bring you this device. Your family member is gonna help you to the water. We have to go through the blue mat. When we get at the end of the blue mat is where you would transfer to your beach chair yeah. for whoever is going to push you, which is not easy mm-hmm. to push. <laughs> but then what do you do with all your personal belongings? Like, do you leave them at the mat? How do you know they're going to be so, safe while you're correct. in the water? So you know, in our wheelchairs are not $500 wheelchairs. They cost thousands of dollars. And nowadays, people just don't care. I mean, I wouldn't feel comfortable. No, me leaving my personal just to my legs behind really you just know, like no how, no really no yeah, those are your legs yeah so to me man see when i see things like that it's not that i don't want to enjoy the experience because i do right you know i enjoy going out you know we went out we had a great meal everything accessible just that issue yeah you know so things like that stop me from going places like that not because i don't want to go because oh my god i'm disabled you don't want to put yourself through I, a situation yes yeah, so why am i gonna go if you only gonna make me go halfway right and then you're gonna give me the reason why which i understand 100 percent. right i understand right but it's a tease like right. right there come on you know so what resolution would i have right i would say if you're planning to go to a beach with a blue mm-hmm. tarp um, I suggest to be prepared. Do some research for that city so that you could call the firefighters to give you a boost with the chair or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, maybe renting. I know I'm going to post a little information as we're sharing resources information in this podcast. There's a company that does beach equipment rentals. So with this company, for example, I'm pretty sure there's many. And uh, by the way, email mm-hmm. us to let us know yes. who you are so that we could Top of let people know for. that you exist, right? So we met this wheelchair company at an event that I that I did. And um, you could rent equipment from them. So I would say to someone that wants to have a nice beach day, uh, get family members, friends, some good mm. amount of volunteers that could carry your things, push you. You know, a good amount of people that can help you have this yeah. good experience, right? Rent a chair so you don't have to go through a mission. Uh, and just be prepared. And I think mm-hmm. overall, someone could have a great day. Now, like to your point, being prepared does mean like I would start like a month ahead of time because I'm pretty sure you're going to have to call the city. Then the city is not going to have the phone number. They're going to transfer you to Right, a, you want to make B. sure everything is good. Yeah, so I would say start with your city. And then if something go, they, they will connect you. I know, I believe that Hollywood Beach, I think if you call the city, they will schedule a right, time for you, you to be there slot. and and maybe now maybe provide you with the equipment and things like that. like that. So just do your research um, and just show up, man. You never know who's going to help you, who's going to be there. You never know. Yeah, it's I, an experience. And I, maybe you start something up where a lot of time you get a wave going correct. you know a lot of a lot of time including myself you go n- with the negative mindset of when you go to one place you know oh my god i don't want to go here and then when you get there you have the best time ever man like sometimes i is like this time this year i said to my wife you know what i'm gonna keep my word in everything that i say if i said i'm gonna do a i'm gonna do a yeah if i said i'm gonna knock b, it out i'm gonna do b always so, with uh positive energy definitely. positive thoughts yes. right that's what we want to share in our podcast positivity um, with all that being said, overall, we had a great time in Hollywood Definitely. Beach. Oh my God, yes, we got to do uh, it again. We hope to work with city officials yes, and the yes, mayor yes. of Hollywood or yes. any of you guys to help make it all accessible. And yeah. I think it'll be a great thing overall. Because at the you end know? of the day, it's business, you know. Yeah, and we're we all are, together on this. Correct. No we have what money to spend. We have money to spend. We want to spend our money. We want to go out. We want to be wanna part of have society. A great time. We want to feel normal. Yes, we want to be. No. Normal. We want to be you know, part as of normal society, as possible, just like right? everybody else. Yeah. Just because you see two guys in a wheelchair, two guys in a mic, two guys in a wheelchair doesn't mean that oh my god, something's going on. There's like they have cooties and the house. No, it's just two regular. So what dudes. are these guys up to? Right? Right? What, what, what do you think people want there? I don't know. Have you ever? I've always been asked if I got shot. Always. They always Never think fails. I was in the military. 
Yeah. They look at me. The first thing that they say, oh, I have a story. Service, I have a story, my G, but I don't know if this yeah. is the day. But I have a story for that one. So, yeah, they just usually think I'm a military dude. And yeah. then they don't think it's a, a motorcycle accident. Yeah. I don't. We always get that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, man, listen, it was great. Definitely. I had an amazing time here As at the always. studio. This is beautiful. State of Shout out to Daddy Media Studio. studio. Yes, yes. Again, email us if you want some information about the studio to so we can share it with you guys. Gmail.com. Uh, uh, email us for any uh, information and ideas that we want to get. Yep. Um, you know, uh, we're going to have, and I was thinking about this, right? Mm -hmm. So I love our shirts. Yes, definitely. So I was thinking, what if we do... Um, the first 25 people, right? Okay. That follow us in either one of our media uh, platforms that we're on. Instagram. Because, okay. you know, we're on Instagram, YouTube mainly, Facebook, Spotify, and hopefully TikTok. soon we have TikTok and hopefully soon on Apple Podcasts. Yes. Uh, so I don't expect everyone to always have all of them. Of course. But, you know, if you have whatever you have, follow us on those um uh, platforms we're gonna post them up on the website so people know mm -hmm. what platforms we're on but for the first 25 whoever follows us and reshares one of the stories that we put up uh we'll let them get a t-shirt all right you know we'll cool. reach out to you um we'll know who you are because we're gonna have people repost it and we'll reach out to you if, want, if you're one of the 25 mm -hmm. people we pick uh that way we can get your size and your address and information and then we'll be able to email you right. and ship it to you ship at no it. cost <laughs> ship you the we're gonna the, email you the shirt yeah email you the shirts digitally so you could print it yeah. a paper one roll. day you're gonna be able to do that i'm hey, pretty sure they will get there but yeah but right that's a good idea so i think it's a great idea so we'll be now that. you heard it here from the men we the might include 25. a little extra things you know surprise yeah. little things some goodies some I don't goodies. want to say what I'm going to put in the back because yeah, last time we, someone made fun of me. Yeah, you said Dom Perignon when I bottle said and about I was the, like, eh. When I so, yeah, talked about the goodies, somebody was making fun of me. Right. But it's okay. But it's good. Don't but worry. again, great time. Definitely, man. Daddy Media Studio. Daddy two Media disabled Studios. guys in a mic. Yes, a lot of great things coming. Hollywood Beach, we love you. Yes, yes, we love you. Peace. Thank you. Thank Bye. You guys. Later. To disable guys in the mic. mic.